it's time to upgrade your mini PC. Well, today we have an open box. I'm going to show you this great mini PC. This one is a K3 mini PC with Intel Celeron N3350 with Windows Pro pre-installed. It comes with a 4 gigabyte of memory, DDR3, and you have about 64 gigabytes for the EMMC. That will be your uh, drive. And 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, so dual Wi-Fi, 4K, HDMI, and a dual, actually dual HDMI, and also a PJ port. I'll show you this right now. How are we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT Lab. Thank you for coming back. First time, remember to subscribe to Media Box ENT Lab by pressing the lab icon right there and like always the notification bell so you know next time we release a video that will help you and your next project and maybe your next project is you know i need to upgrade my mini pc maybe i want to run a, a plex server or have a um home office computer or a cody player whatever it is i'm going to show you right now this cool and super mini pc right now all right, so let's see what we get with the mini PC. As we say, Intel design and you try the EMMC huh? memory. And we look to the other side. So again, the AK3, we see the Intel chip, the Zelleron N3350, 4 gigabytes, 64 and dual band, 5 gigahertz. And supports, we can install up to 2 gigabytes, uh, 2 terabytes of drive and inside the case. And I'll show you how to do that. We open, we'll get the quick installation, All right? And how to install it. And it's Practically only a few questions that will ask you uh, on Windows 10 Pro. And guys, less than 10 minutes, that's how long it takes to install uh, Windows 10 Pro. Now we see the box. We're going to keep it right there in the side. I like the color. And in the next box, we should get the cable. It comes with the HDMI cable and also as well uh, the power supply. Power supply is 12 volts, by the way. So we get a 12 volt power supply and the HDMI cable. Now, we're going back to the power supply, by the way, it's uh, 110 to 40, so it means you can use it anywhere around the world, right? That's very important. And right over here, we have the famous box. Intel, I like the design. You can see there is a gold color, so that's um, uh, for Brie, that's uh, to keep it nice and cool. And right in the back, we see the mini fan, and I will have to say it's super quiet, and that's to mount right behind the TV. And by the way, it comes with the bracket. I almost forgot about that part. So that's the bracket you're going to install right in the display in the back, right? To save a space. And then you can put that in the back. It has the pins. We need to look for the pins. Actually, I have this backwards. And right the other side is the pins. Yeah, right there is the pins. And you just click it there and you're done. You save a bunch of space. Now, let's look now the ports on the box. So once again, it has a nice color and right in the front is a blue light when it's on and red when you put it right in the standby, we can see the power on micro SD card to love pictures, music, whatever you want. And we do have two USB 3.0 eh? that right there. And the next one, uh, 2.0, let's say for the mouse or this keyboard, right on the side, we have the, another 2.0, two, HDMI outputs, right? So we have a dual display, and that's very important. And RJ45, Ethernet cable, and a mic and audio and input, and the DC voltage. Run the side, if you have an old display, I would say that will be good for the projector. Right now, we want to pick inside and we want to install our drive. Right? We're gonna, what we're going to do now, we're going to remove that screw right there, and we're going to open this. You're going to slide that, so we're going to take the screw out. We slide the switch from the left to the right, and we can take the cover, and voila. So right there, we have the SATA connection, and you can install up to 2 terabytes. So that's good, error, right? So you keep your 64 gigabyte for your Windows and some of the applications, and then your 2 terabyte is to install maybe more application picture documents. So we're going to install it right there. Yeah, you have to remove the little bracket and become much easier there. If you have the screw that comes with the manufacturer, you can put the screws there. 
to keep everything nice and tight. All right, so after we put the hard drive, we're gonna boot it up now the PC. So watch this half hours, clock it up. All right, so I just pressed the power right now. You see that? Watch this. Window will start in a second. I think the whole process maybe is like 15 seconds. I didn't clock it the whole thing, but we are in. You see that? Watch. We will change the screen. That's it. Done. 15 seconds. Boot up the whole thing. So now we're going to log in. I use a wireless keyboard. It's nice for me. Click on it and we're in right away. I, I, once again, it's a part of it, uh, like I said, uh, home office computer. So let's click the browser. I'm hooked up to the 5 gigahertz network. And once again, it's already uh, the, the installation. It took about maybe 10 minutes, less than 10, 10 minutes. They ask you a few questions if you didn't install Windows before. The simple questions, you know, choose a keyboard, choose the language, and then it will and update yourself that old installation. And you see how fast, right? It's pretty fast. And let's check now. And we can see right over there, we can see it's a 1.1 uh, gigahertz, the Intel chip. We see that the memory as well, too. And it runs a 64 bit. Right, and you can see in the bottom there is a window already been activated, right? So that's that's perfect. That's what we want. And again, less than 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now, let's go and let's check the hard drive. Remember that you put in a second a second hard drive. So we're gonna look that now. And look into my computer. Click right there. And we can see right over there, we have the C drive. I said 64 gigabytes, you always got some less. And look that, it detect, actually I put a 750, my original drive with damage. So I jump up, up a 750, detect no problem. And then I put a thumb drive And even, right? Even they actually detect my, um, my server as well too. So once again, great, great mini PC, fast. 10 minutes installation, less than 10 minutes, a full installation and takes about 20 seconds. They say 20 seconds. They say 20 second boot up time. All right, so what do you think about the mini PC? I think it's great. I like the design. It's small, keeps nice and cool. And what, one of the things in my case, I will use one of these boxes. I will install TeamViewer in this, and now you can run like a mini server. You don't need a keyboard. You don't need even a mouse or anything because you can like get remote and have a running up torrent server. Maybe you want to keep the cell you download out of your computer, put a BPM and log in and see what you're downloading, or a multi multimedia player, run Cori, Plex, Play It On, or how about also run it as a, an emulator. That's a perfect emulator to run a bunch of 80s and 90s game out of this box. So simple. I mean, there are many things you can use, and the nice thing is it's small, and two displays, actually we can put three, right? Uh, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, plus a VGA. In case uh, you have a projector, right? You can hook up here an, an old projector. But two, so you can put two displays, and that will be perfect for home office. All right, guys. So if you have any question, like always, let me know underneath this video. Tell me if you got one of these boxes, what are you going to be using for? And I will leave you the link as well. Bye.